greetings everyone we will continue our session on information retrieval systems so in the few previous session we have looked at what are the various uh, data structures which are involved in information retrieval systems as a part of those data structures we have looked at what are the search trees and what is a particular hashing technique which will be using as a part of data structures in your information retrieval system apart from that uh, we have looked at what are the digital trees and what are the patri search trees Okay, we'll be looking about them in depth in the uh, next few units. For the time being, we'll be going for the next topic. So, as a part of this session, we'll be looking at what are the algorithms which are used in your information retrieval systems. So, as a part of this one, we'll be having three main types of algorithms as a part of this system. One is your retrieval algorithms. Second one is your filtering algorithms. Third one is your indexing algorithms. So we will be looking at one by one that is what are retrieval algorithms, what are filtering algorithms, what are indexing algorithms. The first one, the retrieval algorithms. So as you could see, the retrieval algorithms basically fetch the data from your textual databases. For the time being, we will be considering only the textual databases. We can apply the similar concepts for other types of databases as well. So, retrieval algorithms is basically about fetching your data from your databases and all these algorithms, whatever you have the particular retrieval algorithms will be divided into two types. One is your sequential scanning for text, the second one is indexing test. So, all these algorithms, whatever you have as a part of retrieval algorithms have been divided into types depending upon the requirement of additional memory. So whenever you, fetch, you are, whenever you are fetching the data from your databases, if you want additional memory or not. So based upon the additional memory which you are requiring to run that particular algorithm, we are going to divide those algorithms into these two types. That is algorithms which involve sequential scanning of text, algorithms which involve indexing those texts. Okay. So we will be seeing this first to two. So these are retrieval algorithms where you are retrieving the data from your databases and while retrieving the databases sorry while retrieving the data from your databases whether you are not using the additional memory or not so which particular technique is using the additional memory and how they are going to use the additional memory will be divided into two types one is sequential scanning of text the second one is indexing the text the next one we have that is the sequential scanning of text this algorithm requires additional memory as you could see based upon query size rather than the database size okay so basically you are going to look at it as the query size so sequential scanning of text from the particular word itself you should be able to understand what you are doing in this particular type of algorithms we are going to basically sequentially scan your complete text here okay while scanning how you are going to retrieve the data so in this particular thing we will be looking at the query size, the additional memory whatever you are going to implement or whatever you are going to use will involve in the query size rather than the database size. Okay, Whatever may be the database size, it will not be concerned about the database size, it will be concerned about what is the size of your particular query. So if you are giving a lengthy query, this particular types of algorithms will take more time. If you are giving a shorter query, it will take less time. Okay, if you are giving a lengthier query, it will be taking more time and more space for your particular retrieval of data and if you are giving a shorter query, it will be taking less amount of time and less amount of particular extra space okay, while retrieving the data. So it also requires the running time to be the least proportional to your text size. As I told you, as your query size increases, your particular running time increases. As your query time decreases, your running time will decrease. Okay, whatever the query size, based upon the query size, it will sequentially scan your particular text of data, whatever you are giving as a part of query. So, if you are giving a lengthy query, it will take more time. If you are giving a shorter query, it will take less time to retrieve the data from your databases. This is one type of retrieval algorithms where you will be taking extra amount of memory for your query. Okay. The second type is your indexed text. In the indexed text, the algorithm makes use of index of the text for your searching purpose. 
So in the previous thing, you have to do the particular scanning of your text and try to match the particular text with one of the text items in your databases. But here, we'll first build an index of your particular text, okay? And you are going to use this build index for your searching purposes. And this is capable of minimizing the search time. Why? Because it will minimize the search time. Why? Because we are going to build an index for your complete text. So building an index will take some amount of time. And but uh, whenever you are going for a larger particular database sizes, your index will help. If you are having a smaller database size and if you are trying to create your particular index, it will be a waste of time and memory. So however, the size of index is based upon the database size. Okay, due to which the search time can be compared with the amount of text. So basically what you have to do, you will be having a database. For this database, whatever the text you have, you are going to first create your indexes. Okay, from these indexes, your search will happen. So if your particular database size is small and you are trying to search this particular thing through indexes, it will be a waste of memory for storing the indexes as well as the storing your particular data files. Okay, so whenever your particular database is small, it will be better go for the previous one, whatever the sequential search of your particular text. If your database size is large, at the time your index will be helpful and whenever you are searching for some data in this particular data files, it will be faster. Okay, so this part of algorithms, whatever retrieval algorithms you have, will be basically implemented by building an index and this index will be used for your searching purposes which will help whatever the index you are creating that will help you in searching your particular database faster. Okay, so and this particular index will depend upon your particular data file okay, or your database. If your database is small, your particular index has to be, need not be implemented. If your database is large, you have to implement the index so that your searching will be faster. And your index file also will indirectly depend upon your database size. If the database size is very large, your index size also will increase. Okay, this is how your index will be used for retrieval algorithms. So your retrieval algorithms are basically of two types you can, as you could see. One is your previous one, your sequential scanning of text. It is like matching your particular text with the particular text in your whatever the database you have. This will be very slow if you are having, if you are searching for a large amount of data in your database. But as the say, a query size is small, it will be searching faster. If the query size is large, it will be searching slower. And the second type you have is your indexed text. But all the text whatever you have is first indexed and you are going to search for the text in the indexed file. Okay. This particular thing will be implemented by creating an index for your text and that particular index will be helpful for faster retrieval of your text from your database. So these are retrieval algorithms, these two types of retrieval algorithms. The next one, so the efficiency of retrieval algorithms is very important, by, why because the main objective of your information retrieval systems is retrieving your data from your databases. So the efficiency of your retrieval algorithms has to be very important. Why? Because we expect to solve any query. Okay. We expect to solve any query in short answer time. So whatever the query you provide, the particular information retrieval system has to provide the results in a faster time. So the efficiency of your information retrieval algorithms have to be very efficient. Why? Because whatever the query you give, it has to be getting the results in a faster time. And this need has triggered the implementation of retrieval algorithms in different ways. Okay. And some of these ways are implementation by using the hardware by parallel machines. I told you how you can implement this particular systems by using parallel machines while implementing your domain analysis. Okay, how you can implement your particular database by using parallel machines and how you can implement your databases by using parallel processors. Okay, all these things that is if I want a faster retrieval of your data from your information retrieval systems, okay, you have to use parallel processors. At that time, you will be retrieving the data faster. Okay, so these algorithms are basic algorithms that is whatever the two you have seen, all those things will work later. 
Okay, we'll be looking at them in the later sections. So these are retrieval algorithms. The second set of algorithms we have is the filtering algorithms. This class of algorithms basically does is the text is input. That is the for this algorithm the input is a text and the output is a processed or filtered version of your text. Okay, so we are going to give the input as text to these algorithms and we will be getting a processed or filtered versions of your text. Okay, so these processed or filtered versions will be used in for various uh, applications here. We will be looking at what are the various operations we will be performing as a part of this filtering algorithms. For the time being know that this uh, particular filtering algorithms take your uh, text as input and you are going to get a modified or processed version okay a modified or processed or filtered version of your particular text okay where you are going to use you can you will be seeing the next slides filtering is performed in information retrieval systems to reduce the size of text okay and standardize this to simplify search so we will be using basically this filtering for two various purposes one is to reduce the size of the text okay so whatever may be the text you are uh, trying to store in your database there might be redundant text or unwanted text in order to reduce the size of the text you could be using the filtering algorithms or in order to standardize the simplification of your particular searching okay so if you want to search for a particular set of items we can standardize the set of values or text values okay so standardizing your particular search so all these particular search entries should be in a particular format like this you can standardize your search patterns so those things can be done by using your filtering algorithms so filtering algorithms are basically taking a text as your input and we are going to get the output as a processed text or modified text and you are going to do this filtering algorithms basically to reduce the size of your particular text or to standardize your search patterns or to simplify your searching process so what are the filtering processes you are going to do so the most common filtering or processing operations which you are going to perform are the first one is your common words removed using a list of stop words as i told you in a previous sessions we will be having a list of stop words for every particular databases and these stop words have should not be implemented in your particular databases so whenever i want to remove so a set of words or remove stop words from my databases these words can be given as an input to your particular filtering algorithms your filtering algorithms will take the text as input and it will remove all the particular words which are present in your stop word list next the upper case letters transform it to lower case letters it will be a simple thing all the upper case letters have to be transformed into a lower case letters basically this is for standardizing your particular databases okay whatever the text that is present in your database have to be standardized in a particular sense and you are going to convert your upper case letters into lower case letters special words removed and sequences of multiple spaces removed to sorry reduce to one space in your text if you are having more than one spaces then i can remove those spaces and place only one space okay so if your text is wrong in a particular sense it will be removing those spaces and it will be removing some special symbols which are not standardized in the particular database next numbers and dates transform to a standard format another filtering process is or processing process is you are going to particularly change your particular dates and numbers which you are going to enter in the database into a clear format or standardized format so whatever the data or whatever the dates and numbers which you are going to enter into the database have to be converted into a standard format so all these things that is this four whatever the common words which are present in the stop words how to be removed by these algorithms and upper case letters how can be transferred into a lower case letters and special symbols and extra spaces can be removed by these algorithms and numbers and dates can be transferred into a standard format other operations which will be performed by your filtering algorithms are 
we will be having spelling variants. So spelling variants transformed using soundex like methods. So similar words can be uh, processed into a set of words. As I told you in a previous sessions also, we will be having something called as word stemming and truncation. So we will be removing the suffixes and uh, prefixes so that the storage will be very much easier and the searching will be very much easier. Such things also can be done by your filtering algorithms. Another one is automatic keyword extraction. If, it, if I want to extract a set of keywords, it can, it can automatically extract the keywords for a particular document. And word ranking. So word ranking is also, I already told you this word ranking in a particular functional view of your database where you, each and every word will be counted and it is given a some particular rank based on the number of occurrences of that particular word in the system. So these are the things which will be performed by your filtering algorithms. So all these things will be done on the text which you are going to enter into the database. So before entering into the database all these filtering particular processing activities will be done on the text and only the filtered data will be entering the, into the database. So we will be removing all the unneeded or unstandardized formats and only and we are going to only send the standard formats into the database. So this is filtering algorithms. The next type of algorithms you have is your indexing algorithms. So indexing, the main purpose of your indexing algorithms is to speed up your Okay, speed up your textual searching as they employ indices. So indexing algorithms are mainly used to okay, retrieve your particular data, data items faster so that we will be implementing your retrieval algorithms in the previous slides. So all those retrieval algorithms will work faster when you have indices. So indexing algorithms basically create these indices so that whatever you are going to retrieve it will implement the particular thing fast. Okay, the indices are of multiple categories depending upon the retrieval methods. So whatever may be the indices, all these indices are, can be categorized into various types Okay, based upon what are, what are the retrieval methods which you are using. Each retrieval method will be implementing one types of indices and most of the indices are implemented okay, by using your files and trees. That is most of the indices whatever you are going to implement will be implementing by using your trees, signature files and inverted files. So almost all type of indices are based on either trees or hashing. Okay. So most of the retrieval algorithms are your indexing algorithms mostly uses these two types one is tree and hashing. Other than this we will be having something called as the clustered data structure or uh, this type of indexing we will be calling it as clustering. Okay, So we will be having the indices in three types. The implementation can be done either in trees or it can be done using hashing or we can be using the clustering type. So most of the retrieval algorithms will use one of these three types of indexing that is tree indexing, hash indexing or clustering. So the clustered data structures and direct, and direct acyclic word graphs are not based on hashing or tree, rather it is based on automata theory. So only one type which is different from tree and hashing is your cluster data structure. This cluster data structures which doesn't, uh, this clustering indices doesn't implement your uh, tree or hashing, it implements or it is based upon your automata theory. Okay. So usually before indexing, the text is has to be filtered. So this is the basic operation which will be performed for your particular text. We are going to take the text, so which has to be entered into the database system and we are going to perform the filtering operations whatever I told you in the previous slides. All those filtering operations have to be performed. Only the filtered data can be moved into the database. For that filtered data, whatever the filtered data you have, we are going to perform the index. That is, we are going to create the one index with which you can perform the whatever the search operation you want to perform, which will be performed first. So this index building has to be done. That is, you are going to create the index for your 
filtered data and whatever the data okay which is filtered so we'll be getting the output with your filtered data as well as your index so what are the things which are happening before the data entering into the database is represented here so first we'll be having the database so i told you as a part of information retrieval systems we have to gather the data from large set of databases or other resources so while collecting the this data we will be having your data as a textual form so this particular text have to be given as input to your filtering algorithms this filtering algorithms will remove whatever the unnecessary data that is present in the particular text it is going to filter the data and only the filtered data will be going into the database before going into the database that filtered data so using that filtered data we are going to build an index so this index can be used during retrieval times so we are going to involve all the three algorithms that is we are going to involve your filtering algorithms to perform the filtering operations we are going to use the indexing algorithms to create your indexes so that whatever you are having that is whatever the filtered data and index so on this filtered data and index only you are going to apply your retrieval algorithms okay so to retrieve your data faster we are going to use the retrieval algorithms so this thing will work that is i told you the retrieval algorithms will be two types one is the sequential search another one is your index search okay this thing will work for your index search for the sequential search will not be having this step where you will not be creating the index just will be having the filtering operations and will be having only the filtered text on the filtered text will be performing your sequential search okay and this index search will be happening in this manner so this is how your particular all the algorithms of in your information retrieval systems will be involved in this particular sense okay so the pre processing time so as a part of your indexing algorithms the pre processing time needed to build the index is amortized by using in searches so as i told you before you build an index you have to know how many times you are going to search the particular thing so what is the size of your database whether it is feasible to create an index for this particular database okay so if you don't create the particular index what will be your trade off you have to think all those things before creating your index or before implementing your indexing algorithms so the pre processing time needed to build the index that is how much time you are going to take to build the index you have to identify the thing so if you are using a, as i told you if you are using a smaller database building your index will not be suitable thing why because there will be a pre processing time taken to build the index okay and after taking the particular time if the searches are slow it will be a waste of time to build the index so you have to look about what is the thing you are going to do here so whether your particular system needs an indexing algorithm that is whether it is going to implement an index or not so what is the size of your database what will be the time which which with with which we are going to create your index and how this index will be helpful for your searches so you have to compare the thing that is what is the pre processing time needed and how many times you are going to search okay what will be the implications of your searching times or uh, whether it is going to improve your searching or not so for example if you are building the uh, for building the index requires n log n time so you would expect the query the database at least 0 to n times sorry n times of your particular thing so whenever you create an index and if you create the index in n on n log n times okay we at least expect the query whatever the query is you at least expect n times you are going to uh, query the particular database system okay so if you are wasting the particular memory to just to build the index it is a waste of time so if you are having a database and you are creating an index with of some processing time and if you are not using the particular index for searching then it is a waste thing so this is an example which is shown here so if you are taking this much amount of time to create an index you are at least expecting okay if you are taking n log n times to create your index 
you are at least expecting n searches on your particular database system. If you are not expecting those many searches, it is a waste thing to create your index. So this is the performance implication of your indexes on your particular information retrieval system. So how to take a decision whether to create your index or not based upon how many times you are going to search the particular system. So this is your indexing algorithms. So as a part of this session we have looked at all these three different types of algorithms. The retrieval algorithms which will fetch the data. Okay. The filtered algorithms which will filter or process the particular text which you are going to enter into the particular system. And the retrieval algorithm, sorry, indexing algorithms which will create an index. Okay. Which will create an index which will help to faster your particular searching time. So this is about your algorithms which you are going to use as a part of information retrieval system. We are going to study all these algorithms in depth in the future sessions. For the time being know that these are the algorithms which you are going to use in the information retrieval system. So these are the things which are part of your first introduction to information retrieval system part. So, so far we have seen what is the introduction to information retrieval system. What is the domain analysis of your information retrieval system as a part of this domain analysis? I told you what are the various facets of your information retrieval system. Okay. Next, what are the other information retrieval systems? Sorry, other information retrieval systems. So we have compared your information retrieval system with the artificial intelligence and database management systems. Then how to evaluate your information retrieval system by using your uh, retrieval effectiveness and your storage effectiveness, how you are going to evaluate your information retrieval systems and what are the various data structures used in your information retrieval systems. I told you about the searching, okay, search trees, digital trees and also hashing. We are going to use those data structures and in this session I have covered about the algorithms in your information retrieval systems. That is you are going to use the retrieval algorithms, indexing algorithms and your whatever I told you in the previous thing filtering algorithms. So this will be the end of your first part of your information retrieval system that is introduction to IRS. We will go into the next part in the next session. For the time being we will wrap up this session and continue in the next session. Thank you.